Here's everything you need to know about the Sony Bravia XR A80J TV in five minutes. Hi guys, it's Louis from Smart Home Sounds, a home audio visual retailer based in the UK. And today I'm back with another lowdown for you, giving you everything you need to know about the new Sony Bravia XR A80J OLED TV in five minutes. We'll be doing a full in-depth review. It could already be out depending on when you're watching this and it will be linked in the description box below. But this shorter video should hopefully help you decide if this TV is worth considering. Right, so we've had a few comments and we're not strict enough with our five minute timer. So I'm gonna set my timer now to five minutes and whether I'm finished or not, that's all you're getting. Okay, let's get into it. So the A80J is the entry level 4K OLED TV in Sony's 2021 lineup, sitting between their master series flagship A90J and their top of the range full array LED X95J TV. It's this year's replacement of the very popular A8 TV and is available in 55 inch, 65 inch and 77 inch with RRPs of 1899, 2699 and 399 respectively. As an OLED TV with 4K resolution, the A80J's pixels are self-lit, enabling this to be a very thin TV unit and deliver a near infinite contrast ratio and deep blacks. The A80J boasts a premium design with a very narrow flush surface metal bezel, aluminium stand which can be positioned in three different ways to suit your TV unit, and a very thin design so it would also look good mounted on a wall. The remote is the standard Sony remote with handy buttons to jump to the most popular apps, including Netflix and Disney+. This TV uses the new Google TV interface, which is a step up from last year's Android interface. It's really intuitive to use and gives you access to over 5,000 different apps. The TV itself is straightforward to set up, and you just use the Google Home app to follow along. Considering this is a 65 inch TV, it was pretty simple to get unpackaged and set up with two people. This TV is powered by the new for 2021 Sony Bravia XR Cognitive Intelligence Processor. This sounds like a lot of jargon, but this new processor, which is essentially the brains behind the TV, is designed to replicate the natural way we see and hear things to offer a more immersive experience and more true to life picture. We'll review that in more detail in our in-depth review, but it's just good to know that the overall experience is being enhanced by this technology. XR motion clarity also helps fast-paced action sequences appear smooth and blur-free. If we move on to the picture, I'll pop up some shots we've gotten during our testing. As you can see, the OLED picture quality offers enhanced contrast and pure blacks. As the pixels are self-lit, you can get a near-infinite contrast ratio and perfect blacks, which is the beauty of OLED. This enables colors to feel more vibrant and delivers a natural, deep image, which is more immersive. One great thing about OLEDs in general is that they look good from nearly all angles and don't struggle with very wide off-axis seating angles. And the A80J definitely ticks this box. In terms of sound, the A80J boasts Acoustic Surface Audio Plus, where the screen itself is the speaker. This means you get a more realistic, natural listening experience as the sound matches what you're seeing on the screen. On top of that, this year there is now a forward-facing subwoofer for even better bass. It also benefits from XR Surround, which simulates surround sound enabling you to experience 3D audio without having in-ceiling or upwards firing drivers. The TV does have an eARC if you wanted to connect your own separate soundbar, such as a Sonos Arc, but unless you already have one, I would recommend getting this TV home first and testing it out, as you might find your you're happy with the audio performance the TV offers. This TV is also a great option for gaming. So you've got four different HDMI inputs, two which support HDMI 2.1 and 4K 120 frames per second. VRR is due sometime this year via a software update too, which although it's been delayed from last year, will be a good addition. The A80J offers near instantaneous response times and low input lag, so overall it's a great option for gamers, especially when combined with that truly impressive picture quality and immersive sound. So if you're considering this TV, it's good to know your options above and below. You can step up to the Master Series flagship OLED, the A90J. This comes with a higher price tag, but you benefit from the OLED Contrast Pro for even deeper contrast, and the A90J offers a slightly better performance. There is also an extra subwoofer for more powerful bass and a built-in mic in the TV. As their Master Series TV, the A90J also benefits from the Master Series color rendering. The A90J is also available in a larger screen size of 83 inch too. 
Alternatively, you can drop down to the X95J, which is their flagship full array LED. The X95J isn't available in any screen sizes smaller than 65 inch, but is available in a 75 inch and 85 inch option. In terms of picture quality, the X95J offers a slightly brighter performance than the A80J, something that's easier to achieve in full array LED TVs, but doesn't quite offer the same deep black level or contrast. We've recently uploaded a comparison with full array LED and OLED on our channel, which covers differences like these in more detail. There is a slight step down in sound performance due to acoustic multi-audio, so you miss out on the screen being the speaker, but you still benefit from two sound positioning tweeters, two front facing speakers, and an integrated sub. There we are guys, that's the five minutes. So I guess if you wanna find out more about the A80J, then you need to head over to our channel and make sure you watch our in-depth review. I will cover those comparisons in a bit more depth in the next video, as well as comparisons with other competitors, including the LG C1. Personally, as Sony's most affordable OLED TV in the 2021 range, I think the A80J is a great option for people wanting to take their first step into OLED technology. Yes, the A90J offers slightly better performance, but but for a lot of people, I think this will be the A80J that hits the sweet spot of price and performance. As always, I've linked the products in the description for you. Don't forget, we are an authorized Sony retailer and offer free delivery as well as a five-year warranty, so do check us out if you're looking for a new TV. As I've said, we have a more in-depth review of this TV on our channel, so if you want to check that out and have any questions or anything else that you want us to cover, including comparisons, then make sure you comment them down below. It would also be great if you could subscribe. That's always a big help for us. Thanks again for watching. That's all we've got time for today. We'll see you guys in the next video.